Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to check it out some land orientations in Illustrator. And also, if you want to know how I do these infinity loops made out of coins or what are the insides, you know, like how I do these ideas, where they came from and uh, basically what is the process behind, you can watch these videos in the YouTube membership. You can click on the join near the su subscription button and, uh, you know, select the secret content and see what's up. So I'm going to start from the beginning and now I'm going to create a new copy, press and hold alt. Select both, go to, what is that? We're going to blend it, right? Click on the blend, click on this. And then on the right, I'm going to double click on the blend, select specify steps, increase the numbers. Going to go with four, I don't know, space. Oh no, space fill steps. So I'm going to increase the number. Ooh, this green looks a beaut. I love it. Okay. So from here, I gonna swap this from, what is that stroke? Click on the stroke. I'm going to select black color and select the pen tool click press and hold shift create a line from here i'm going to go to the effect distort transform what is that zigzag sorry this is it i'm going to decrease the ridges per segment i'm going to go something like this click on smooth increase the size something like that click ok object expand right click transform reflect vertical click ok i'm gonna select both go to objects what is that blend and replace spine double click on the blend tool select specify steps increase the number i'm gonna go somewhere around 70 click 70 click ok click on it go to object blend and reverse spine i think it's too much i'm gonna decrease the numbers yeah, that's more like a 45. And now I'm going to create a new copy, press and hold out, drag it down. Okay, so this is the default of the blend. So as you can see, the default is, you know, the coins when it comes a curve, you know, the coins are still going one to each other. It's like not, the coins are not bending, you know, in that specific way, how organically, naturally it should. So to fix that problem, I'm going to select the second one so you can see the difference. And I'm going to double click on the blend tool. And as you can see, we got the orientation. This is the default and this is the other one, the organic. Click on it. See here, the coin is also bending to the path. So as you can see, we've got a curvy path. The coin is also going to curve on that path, 90 degrees, basically. I don't know how to explain it, but there is a huge difference going on. So this one is better for like illustrations. It's pretty handy there because it's more realistic. It's more organic. And this one is really, really good for abstract stuff, which basically I do most of the time, you know, optical illusions and all kind of abstract logos where I use, you know, blending and those kind of things. And this is the trick with the blend orientation. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye. Thank you so much.